<laughs> Sin Dog, you introduced Be Real to the Neighborhood Family Blood Gang. Correct? All his fault. That's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not trying to dry snitch over here. I'm just asking a question. Yeah, I did. I I kind of like uh, they. I mean, him and the other homeboy, they were like on some B Dog stuff and. And they would talk a big game. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was like, if you guys really think you're all that, let's go to South Central. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I didn't mean it to challenge him or anything. Right. But that's what happened. I meant he to said, like challenge accepted. Challenge. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. See, to add on to that story, yeah. Uh, one other my one other one other friend of ours that we grew up with, him and I, you know, we were running with with kids that wanted to be bloods and shit like mm-hmm. that. So I guess we were too, right? Mm-hmm. We were trying to get down with that. We're send dog actually knew the homies that I eventually right. would get down with and thought, oh, you you know, and, and right. there was one night we were mobbing up. There was maybe six or seven of us and 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 the homie um <laughs> that was with us, he had this little beef with this dude who was not a real crip, but he was claiming crip, but it was over a girl. Okay. And they start beefing and uh one of our homeboys comes out of nowhere and knocks the other guy the fuck out mm. for the homie he was beefing with over the girl. Mm-hmm. And we all start talking shit to him. Oh, yeah, fuck you, blood. Uh, right. And this guy comes and checks all of us because he was the the older one of us, you know. We all looked up to him. Mm. Oh, you think you real bloods? Let me take you over where Willie White stays. And blah, 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 mm. blah, blah. And that was our homeboy who lived in, in the hood. Right. See if you really down with the shit. And for me, I, you know, I grew up around the shit. You know, my brother right. was a gangster, but he, he banged with... Mexican gangs and my father was into some crazy shit you know so it was just something that I gravitated to so when he took me down there I remember I was like oh shit okay <laughs> yeah. yeah I belong here <laughs> <laughs> yeah there was okay there was like a crew of older guys that I hung around with uh-huh. right and and they and we were like the tiny local families right okay and then he ran with a totally different crew of how can I Assassins, I would call them. <laughs> like these guys okay. were putting in work. They they were no joke. They right. they didn't they didn't wait for nothing and they didn't take for nothing. Whatever mm-hmm. happened, happened. And they were and as I noticed when every time he would go over there, he would leave where my circle of friends were at, and he walked down the street where the younger guys were at. Mm-hmm. And I knew those younger guys were a hundred percent active. And I'm like, oh man, is this gonna something's gonna happen here? And it sure enough did. Mm. You know, and he got shot one night. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it was one of those things. I I didn't need to. It it just it happened this way, you know. Um, I I gravitated to it. It was a magnet to me. I again, I didn't have to. I had them. They weren't mm-hmm. like deeply banging like these dudes were. Mm-hmm. Um, they were affiliated. You know what I mean? But music was was the main thing. Right. And that's the what we had in common was you know we we loved hip hop music and we you know fucked with it a little bit here and there. Um, <laughs> acting like we knew how to rap and shit, you know? Right. But this sort of called to me in a different way. I'm lucky to be here. I'll, I'll be yeah, 1,000 about it. I yeah. am fucking 100% percent Get shot. Blessed Help by God. Steer the direction, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, no, not, not, not initially. When I got shot, I was still on that bullshit because, you know, some of us... That that bang when we get shot, we live through it. Now it's we got this suit of armor. armor. We're yeah. invincible. When, when Bionic, that's not yeah. necessarily true, <laughs> right? Some of us are just very fortunate, and God smiles upon some of us in in a Trendy. way that you know we might not understand till later. And yeah, fortunately, you know, I was able to survive that, and I was still on the street. And then these dudes, they were constantly him and Mugs and uh, his brother Mello mm-hmm. would constantly be coming down to the block and trying to get me off of it. Like, yo, come do this music with us. Mm. And for a time, I was like, nah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. No, his exact words were, nigga, you crazy? There's a war going on right now here. (laughs) It's focused. (laughs) Yeah, it's focused. I mean, I was a soldier at that time. Yeah, you focused. Yeah, and and, uh, I don't know what it was that that convinced me, you know, maybe because they kept on fucking with me so many times coming Mm. to the hood, constantly asking me, hey, come, come do this shit with us. And I... I finally, I said, "Fuck it, all right, cool." God bless him. And uh, I f- like, I got bitten by the studio bug. I was in there with these dudes and seeing like Tone Loke come through and mm-hmm. Young MC come through and all these dudes that had it popping for on Delicious Vinyl at the mm-hmm. time. I was like, "Oh shit, it's yeah. popping in here!" Mm-hmm. And I fell in love with being in the studio and writing more than I was in the street on, on the streets. Now at this point, I'm yeah. like, "Well, fuck, I should be in here." 
That's dope. You know, the same way that the gang banging shit got me like, oh, right. I belong here. Um, that's what the studio felt like. And I found myself in the studio more than on the corner. <sighs> and fortunately, I, I had a circle of homies within our set that supported that. They were like, yeah, go get it. Go represent us. Go get it, man. Fuck this shit right here. That's dope. And uh, that's that's the reason why I was able to get out clean and, and do this shit. <sighs> and not have that that uh, mesh of street life into our professional life because I knew that would just kill us right. in one way or another.